So Agnes, again, these are the panels. Now these panels here are the ones that face um, north uh, east. These panels here are the ones that face north. And those ones there are the ones that face northwest. What I'm thinking of doing is placing these ones here, the northwest ones, onto this roof over here. That roof there, so that we get the one string with a constant and, and same uh, sun direction. So I might talk to you about that. And I was also thinking about putting three more panels facing north on this part of the roof here on a an upstand so that we can get the tip the angle right and I'll draw some pictures for that uh, and I can also stick put some more panels three more panels at least on that part of the roof so I'm thinking of putting in another six panels um, to bring it up to the 30 panels so that we can produce the maximum at, at the moment we're actually exporting today which is a good day we've exported eight kilowatts since the system was installed which isn't very good but it means that uh, the batteries have been taking the excess power that we've been generating so we we haven't been paying much in terms of our power bill about a, about eighty dollars a month so uh, all's looking good so I'll send this to you bye hi Agnes finally got round to uh, sending you a video this is the, uh, the engine room and we've got the two inverters there, we've got all of the big heavy duty isolators and more, more in here. And we've put in some Expel Air fans to keep the room to a constant 26 degrees. One extra thing that we did have to do was to cover the, um, co the contracts contact points for the AC power inlet and uh, because the New Zealand law required that, that those uh, connections be covered. This is the, one of the battery banks in our uh, potting shed actually so I'll just pan around here there's one bank there and the other bank here and so it's outside and it goes along here along here and you can see the cable going in there and behind that.